They don't have menus. So I did my best to order. And now I walk into the bathroom and they have a shower. Let me run that by you again. Here's the cool thing about Costa Rica. Rest stop, mountains, everywhere. You have to watch out for people. This taxi driver walked up to me and he told me the bus is at four. It's noon right now. And he said, oh, but I'll, I'll give you a ride. And I was just like, no, gracias. I go up to the ticket counter. She's like, yeah, there's a bus every hour. It's nothing crazy, I'm not unsafe, but you have to watch out for people just trying to rip you off. This bus cost me $6. Who knows how much that taxi ride would have cost? 60? 100? I have no idea. It's a three hour drive. The plan is to stay tonight in San Isidro, the city nearby, and then take a taxi out to the work away tomorrow. And that'll be my life for the next month. Definitely feeling some last minute jitters. Over 60% of my nerves are after seeing that snake in Manuel Antonio and just feeling like, what is gonna be living out here? San Isidro. Cool little place. I just got off the bus and walked into this restaurant. This restaurant doesn't have menus and they have a shower. Ugh, my brain hurts trying to navigate this place and speak Spanish. I just booked this room. And it's a private, so thank God. I'm so done with moving around. I'm so done with the buses. I'm really excited to get to the work exchange tomorrow and just feel like I have a home and I can settle in somewhere and kind of get in a flow again, get in some sort of routine. I love this country. Here's my room. So this is Tico style. You always have like these nuts. Or sometimes there's just not a net, sometimes it's just open. Here's the vibe, this is the $19 a night. Private room, I get my own shower. Ooh, these tiles kind of are a vibe. This is how all the shower heads look. I think this is hot, cold, and lukewarm. And the that third night I was here when the shower head caught on fire, one of these just, the wires just burst basically and then an ember falls next to my foot and I look up and this thing, there's just a flame. And I'm like, what in the world, where am I? That's the only thing that went through my mind. Honestly, not bad. I've got a TV. I'm gonna freaking veg out and just watch TV before I don't have electricity for a month. I forgot. I'm in a Spanish speaking country, which also means all of the television is in Spanish. Conquistadores. This is how I'm gonna learn Spanish. I'm gonna watch WWE. Subtitles. No. Please. No. Disponible. Disponible. Subtitles aren't gonna work. It's times like this I really need to watch Dora the Explorer. Dora would do me a solid. Dora would help me out. Here we go. Judge Judy. Oh look, we got Mel Gibson. Who would have thunk? Ranco. I'm starting to think this is like Tico, Jerry Springer. What am I watching? Caso Cerrado. Case closed. Excuse me. Cerrado. I'm so good at Spanish. Wow. Filmed in Florida. Never watched soccer. Come on, someone move. There we go. Now we're talking, baby. This is what I came to see. Marrrr. I don't even know which team is winning, actually, now that I think about it. Oh my god. Blue, let him play. What is going on? A member of the Dream Skulls is performing an exorcism on the player who he just got carded for, for nut tapping. Whoa, it's Mr. Bean. Mr. Frijole, am I right? I'm sorry, I'll shut up now. See, what's that? He put him on the deck. There's no card there. 
No consistency in this officiating. 